does chaos spur growth? Well, in a way it does, because you have to look differently at the way that you're doing things and you will take new paths and do things differently. I think progress is a bumpy road, right? And you may hit a few dead ends and kind of have to circle back and figure out what's next. I think that COVID was an eye opener. The stronger the threat, the closer we come together. I think we found a new routine within the pandemic. You know, we have progress to find new ways of defining normal. In a way, this quiet time for me has been helpful because it gave me time to think more deeply about technical problems. I personally progressed during the pandemic by actually recognizing how important family life is. Not being able, seeing parents because they are not vaccinated or they are part of a risk group is definitely something that I don't want to experience again. I've certainly gone outside my comfort zone with creative projects in the last year that I certainly would not have normally done before. It changes the wiring in your brain and gets you a little more creative at work as well. If you look at the work that my colleagues and I are doing, it is essentially focused on enabling the next generations of chips that are made by our customers. There is a connection to the pandemic because this large increase in electronic communications has of course compressed four or six years of development into one. Basically, we have helped better living by improving technology and making it more energy efficient at the same time. I see my work as part of human progress. As we see with Mother Nature, like now with COVID, it will throw more and more difficult to treat diseases at us. The Biotech Development Center then will definitely help tackling these challenges in a faster and more targeted way. When COVID happened and we understood that lipid nanoparticles are going to be in great demand for a vaccination of people, the team definitely had the vision around this product to enable its launch, which is really amazing when you see this ahead of the initial timeline, so about nine months ahead of the timeline. It felt like a moral obligation to turn you know, our mindset to making sure we had product on the shelves globally. When the pandemic hits and suddenly there's a need for millions and millions and millions of tests and vaccine development, it's an incredible feeling knowing this is something that's really contributing to a bigger picture for global health. There's other areas of diseases that will benefit from some of the things we've learned in the pandemic. By being and staying curious, when you face issues that need to be solved, you find potential solutions that can drive progress know that things might not go back to normal as we had it before, but you know, it's going to be a new normal and it's for us to define it really. The future, hopefully it is something where we can leave a world to our children where they can have a good life. That's what progress should be about.